Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for episode eight, the season finale of Has Been Hotel. Now we won't be done with this universe once this episode comes to a close. Obviously season two will be around the corner sometime eventually. They got the green light, so that's that's something we can look forward to together because I will be covering that yet again once it comes back around because I am head over heels with this universe, man. And speaking of this universe, once this is all said and done, I'll be jumping to hell of a boss next. I'll probably be doing that the next week after this to kind of catch up with everything else. We got a couple other shows starting up here on the channel, but we'll kind of keep this rhythm going. We're going to probably have a little bit of time before season two comes out. I don't want to get through all of the, what do you even call this universe? The has been a verse. That's what I'm going to call it for right now, unless there's another name for it. But I'm excited to get into this, guys. We are ramping up for battle and I can't wait to see how this all comes to a close. So let's go ahead and hop in, guys. If you want to see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you got a member of the channel, get you access as well. It is a watch-along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes and reaction the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind-the-scenes footage, and trying to make it worth your while since you are going to be support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. At least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really helps these videos out. And with that all said down the way, let's go ahead and hop in. Two, episode eight, the show must go on. Oh, Vox? We haven't checked in on Vox, honestly, since episode two. <laughs> Cannot wait to watch you get fucked. I <laughs> right, dude, them getting fucked just means you're you're left with with one less barrier between you and them. How about this? If you see an angel, stab it. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, not that one. Not that one. Hey, and Cherry's here too. Look, I can't resist a fight, okay? Especially when I get to tag team with this fuckhead. Tomorrow, the angels face a hell ready to defend itself and win. Yeah. Yeah, we will. Tell him, baby. <laughs> yes, and we, are, we are going to win. In case we don't, I want you all to know that getting to know you has been the biggest honor of my life. Whatever redemption Aww. really means, I know you all tried. I have seen the good in all of you, and I love you all so much, and... and Who's gonna ruin this? Tonight, however you want, because we're all gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, personally, I'm excited. It's been a long yeah, time since I stabbed anyone uh, and really meant it. You know what I mean? Remember Jeez, one? bitches. Yeah. <laughs> this could be... It's Josh. Aww. Yeah, so I love how so, so far we've come, the friends and connections we've made in this place. It's been a surprising thrill to witness these wayward souls find connection. Almost makes one sentimental, eh, nifty? See? It's fucking moments like this. I admit one could get accustomed. <laughs> I dub thee King Roach. Oh, to understand your <laughs> twisted little mind. <laughs> I guess you have changed. Hey. No. Charlie said live tonight however we wanted. So pour me a fresh one and let's get to living. Mm. I want to tell you that I. I love. I'd love to wish you good luck in the battle. I love everyone! I have always been a worthy opponent with the most brilliant explosive contraptions I've ever seen. Aww. Anyway, guess, please don't die tomorrow, okay? Bye. God damn it. You know, so you close. Totally tap that. Stop it, guys. Guys, you know, I hear he's got two dicks. Huh. Game changer? Potentially. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm just so scared. Done so much. If it's only me you see. I've been dying to say. More 
<laughs> God damn it, man. Oh. <laughs> uh. Extermination day is here, bitches. We're gonna go down and exterminate demon ass. Destroy that ass. Prepare to slaughter every sinner in that shit hotel. And you all remember Vaggie. <laughs> Boo! We hate her. <laughs> Whoever brings me Vaggie's head gets, uh, I don't know, a million heaven bucks. How about that, huh? <laughs> You get some heaven coin. Ladies, let's fuck shit up. All right, here we go. Here they come. Oh, whoa. Look at this battle gear. Come on. Let's go down it all. Now, for your soul. Look at that shield Charlie's got. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Whoa. Oh. Some kind of shield, sir. Oh, really? I didn't see this giant fucking shield in front of me. You yelling while fighting doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least she's double tapping, making sure they're staying down. I just noticed she's wearing a, like a crown slash tiara. Oh, whoa. Oh. Are you, <laughs> Alistair? Pleasure to be meeting you. Quite a pleasure. I'm about to end your fucking life. <laughs> oh my God! Let's go! You really think you can take me on? A mortal soul is no match for me, Edge Lord. You are a mortal soul, you dumb fuck. Soul can accomplish when they take charge of their own fate. Ooh. Wow. Jeez. What just happened? Fuck. Uh, oh. Oh. Yes, fuck you, Alistair. <laughs> Have to disagree with you there. Radio's not dead, but it is ending this broadcast. <laughs> oh, wow. Retreating. Damn, man, he put up one, one hell of a fight. Get ready for them, Zagatha! Not my name, but got it. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Now's not the time for that, bitch. No, right. Die, motherfucker! <laughs> These fucking angels won't stop coming. Ah. Okay, I walked right in. Hold that thought. Oh, no, Egg Boy! Jeez. Aww. <laughs> Alistair was supposed to handle him. We aren't gonna last long unless we do something about him. Aww. Miss Cherry Bomb, I love you. Remember me. That was kind of hot. I hope Sir Pinches doesn't die. <laughs> Just like that. I'm so sorry. Oh! Holy shit! Oh, look who thinks they're badass now. The traitor came to die. 
Oh. Let's go, Vaggy. Fuck her up! Risking your immortal life for sinners? That's some crazy shit. These sinners are my family. Dude, her staff is wicked. Should have stayed in your place, girly. Oh! Talk more, dumbass. Dude, she's wicked looking. Okay. Oh, what a good transition. You always were weak. So, I'll spare you the pain of seeing your demon bitch die. Nice. your mistake live live knowing that you only do because i let you mm. <laughs> fuck you i mean that was metal this fight was cute and all but it's time to die with the rest of them wait what the hell is going on with her mask and now his face Dad? Yo. Oh fuck. Sorry I wasn't here soon. <sighs> okay, seriously. How many It was a mask. He just always wears it. And now I am going to fuck you. Well, this just got interesting. Up. It's fuck you up. Dad. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> You're the most hated being in all of creation. Well, your first wife didn't seem to hate what I had to offer. <laughs> 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 oh, not the hotel. I get you. Dad, look out. Whoa. enough you don't get to end this i'm fucking adam all of mankind came from these fucking nuts you all should be worshiping me you ungrateful disgusting fucking losers worshiping who now whoa hey, wait you got something what the... sticking out of here <gasps> oh <laughs> take your little friends and go Treat. All exorcists fall back. Wow, we 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 fucking staved them off, man. That was such a wicked fight, too. Extermination day is canceled. Charlie Morningstar managed to bend off the angelic attack with more than just nice words. Oh. Why is Vox happy about this? Charlie told me to stab, so I did. Aww. Oh, but the hotel. Aww, kitty! Oh, they're there. It's... Oh, it's okay. Has been. It's not a place. It's a people. <laughs> Aww. Aww. I... Mm. one to change this town you can do this now i know oh <laughs> my mind you touch their hearts found the good and souls gone bad but go it must go on we can do this no <laughs> With you, you know it's true. Fulfill your destiny. So long as I follow you and me. Through the hotel, I think we need to break it up. Good thing 
Dude's got a keyblade. <laughs> That's why they're happy. Alistair, altruist, died for his friends. Sorry to disappoint. That is not where this ends. One night, figure out how to unclip my wings. Yeah. Dude, he's so going to be the main guy at the end of this, dude. Oh, I thought he was going to, like, keep his survival a secret from them. Oh, whoa. is dead your deal is done and i'm in charge now your brat is the very foundation oh no of heaven. and if you want to stay here you're going down there and stopping that bitch you understand me lilith oh wow what the fuck Oh my God, my brain. Well, um, that changes a couple of things. So Lilith has been in heaven this entire time. What was the gr agreement to keep everything as it were down in hell? That's why she hasn't been helping Charlie with her, with her hotel or anything like that, just so she could stay in heaven? Wow, what the fuck? I don't know how to roll with that right now. So it just makes me wonder then, cause that makes me question whether or not she's the one that is holding Alistair's leash. Cause is he, is Alistair meant to help her out? Or is that like her play to kind of be on both sides of the fence? I'll, I'll keep up my end of the bargain, so to speak, but Alistair will do it for me. You know, be do the things that I'm not able to do right now, maybe? Possibly? Or is somebody else pulling the strings with Alistair? Speaking of, him just going all out on Adam was wicked awesome. The fights, the fight, the battle itself in this was just really, really well animated and choreographed. The set pieces were just phenomenal, dude. It was badass. And him facing off against Adam was awesome. That was such a good fight. Them just one-upping against one another, but he just wasn't strong enough in the end still. And he almost died. He had to retreat. You know, he's still here. And when he went crawling back to the ruins of his radio tower, and he said with the, the you know, the, the death of Alistair the altruistic or whatever, when he, when he died, you know, fighting for his friends for the hotel, I thought that was the story he was going to sell so that he could kind of find a loophole out of having to stay locked in here. But he showed himself immediately at the end, but he is trying to find a way out. And he did say, he's like, hey, once I find a way out of this, I will be the one pulling the strings. All things said and done, I think Alistair will be the end all be all bad guy at the end. Maybe that's like him almost dying was a little bit of the a realization maybe that he was maybe getting a little too sentimental because again like with the Mimsy thing we cut away to him talking just with nifty a being he brought forth himself they were having that little moment he's like hey he's and he was like reminiscing and kind of wallowing in what they've built here is he saying in some kind of way or implying in some kind of way that he's fallen victim to the magic of the hotel of charlie's dream and maybe that's why he lost the sentimental Alistair that was getting a little too comfortable almost fucking died. And I can't have that until I've had my way. Is that, was that a bit of a wake up call to him? A turning point, yet again, much like Vox, he lost and he had to retreat. Now there's this power vacuum that I don't even know who's left. Honestly, there's a lack of there of a vacuum. The V's are like, hey, with this vacuum, maybe we can fill it and this will be the age of the V's. No one's been vacated. The hotel is back. Lucifer is actually active he's been a passive player in their world for how long you know he's been in the sidelines just letting things play out he intervened he fucked adam up that was awesome that was a good wicked little fight 
Adam's downfall was also very well deserved. The whole little nifty thing in the end was a nice little added touch. Well, with loot in charge now, that means Adam had struck that deal with Lilith. God, there's so much to unravel about this, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it all right now. There's a lot to just kind of think about. And then obviously, like, I'm looking at this from one angle, and you guys who are going to... You've got a lot more information, like if you've been coming from the other stuff, like Hell of a Boss, or if you guys have been following the, the other stuff, because I just found out that there are uh, there are canon comics as well. You guys probably know a lot more than I do, and there's probably some other stuff that's been set up that I'm just not able to see right now, so I can't wait to read your guys' interpretations, your all's angles and perceptions into all of this, because you're going to see it in a wholly different way. A wholly different way haha <laughs> how wicked how hellish of me to say oh man i i'm a i'm a loser anyway i i this was so fun seeing everybody come together and defend the hotel hell cherry defended the hotel serpentius sacrificed himself for the hotel dude that was so powerful even though he just got blipped out of existence like he didn't even get to fire his thing adam just disintegrated his ass that just shows how powerful fucking adam was and just by example how powerful lucifer is and how much more powerful lucifer is than even alistair still and speaking of that his sacrifice got him into heaven serpentius redeemed himself and transcended we saw him bloop into heaven and sarah and emily were surprised to see that happen again they don't i don't know do they even know how this works she says you don't know we there's things you about this you don't know but everybody in the courtroom seemed to have no idea what actually gets you into heaven but whatever it is serpentious manages to pull this off the hotel works that's a major revelation that we're gonna have to see how that that goes and what that entails and with him in heaven are we gonna follow like that angle as well. Will we follow him in heaven? Getting to know the angel side of what's going on. There's just so much. I can't wait to see what we explore in the second season and onward with this show, man. Whoo, man, what a reveal. What an episode. And then this reprisal we got in the start of this of more than anything. And then this reprisal of a uh, happy day in hell beautiful way to bring it back with everybody joining in at the end as well have that one little moment with more than anything with Vaggie and charlie coming together kissing i believe for the first time throughout the show and then everybody joining in for the reprisal of happy day in hell that little twist on that tune and them coming together to rebuild the hotel bigger and better than ever before with her father's help his investment because she's changed people in hell she's turned things around done what he's not been able to do in all of these years but oh going back to my question who's the vacuum that's been left sure the ang angels and the exterminations are paused but i wouldn't consider them a power vacuum what that's not something in hell to fill the hotel is bigger than badder than ever before and has Lucifer's backing. He's yet another player actively back on the field. Alistair may be wounded and healing and recovering, but he's still there. He's still as powerful as he was. We still don't know if that's more than he was when he first fought Vox or whatever, but I don't know what vacuum the V's are necessarily talking about unless they're talking about filling the vacuum left by the angel's absence. That's the only thing I can think of in the moment, because if anything, hell is stronger now. A new faction, this hotel, has garnered its own similar power and its own alliance with Rosie and the cannibals. It was awesome, though, that the rest of hell was watching from the sidelines, though, and you saw that look of recognition from Carmela too, when we cut to her and she was smiling when she saw Faggy taking to heart everything that she had learned and her being able to beat loot, catch her off guard by thinking in the moment in desperation in this clinging to life thing that like, again, that these angels have been lacking as drive to protect and survive and claw and live. It was just all well done, man. Getting to see Charlie go full out demon form as well. I just have to imagine she's holding back in some capacity or because she's still afraid to really do any damage you know she did though get a good hit in on adam with her trident her pitchfork which was wicked the design of that thing it was really cool looking her form was just wild too and razzle and dazzle i don't know which one we lost but we lost one of them too one of them died that was upsetting this was just such a wild episode man it's there's so much to unpack i'm just gonna have to rewatch this again and again and again pick up all the little things i missed because it's there's just so much. I just, 
I'm rewatching the series as well too. So, and I've been watching so many other reactions of this, seeing a lot of other people share in this because it's so fucking good. I want to, I want more and more people to watch this. Damn, but now we have to wait. But like I said, I'll be checking out Hell of a Boss here on the channel. I'll probably take a little bit of a, a reprieve, maybe do like one or two a week. I don't want to rush through it because there's not as much of that. And we've got plenty of time before the second season comes out. So I'll probably maybe kind of keep this same little little beat. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'll probably post like a new schedule or something like that on the community tab once I figure it out, but I'll probably start Hell of a Boss next week sometime. So I, I just keep an eye out for that because I just want more of this world. And apparently there's a lot more information over there about how this world works, how it functions. Obviously we'll be seeing different sects of the world, different areas of it. So I'm very curious to see what that's about. Damn, man, I'm still stuck on this Lilith thing. I want to know what's going on there, but I really don't have too much else to work with. I don't really, I, I just, I'm just going to need time to process this. But in the meantime, guys, I want to know what you all think. What are your thoughts, your theories? Give me all the craziest shit you got cooking up in your brain. Unload it all down below. I can't wait to read through all of it. So guys, that said, sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry in the conversation after the video. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like. Drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you got a Marvel channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherrett, Ryan, Karen, York, Horace Gunn, Melito, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Cottrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, JoJo, Russell Crockett, and Justin Smith. Thank you guys so much for continued support and everybody who's been supporting the channel along the way. And that's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.